girl, they're finally coming back. Oh my god. So of course you guys know I had to do a makeup tutorial based on their look. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off with a moisturizer and you can use any moisturizer of your choice. I'm just using this one from L'Oreal and yeah. And then for my base foundation, I'm actually going to be using this gold collagen foundation with a beauty sponge. It's not really the real beauty blender, but it still works. So I just like to get it damped with this beauty mist and then I just apply my foundation by dotting it all over the face. And then after that, then I'll just take the beauty blender or beauty sponge and just kind of blend out the foundation. Now, if you don't have a beauty mist, you don't really need it. You could just use water. I just like to use the beauty mist because I gotta use it up. <laughs> and I'm focusing a lot of my um, foundation underneath my eyes because I need coverage there. But yeah, so as you guys can see, I'm just kind of blending out the foundation. Alright, so now that the face is done, I'm actually going to move on to the eyebrows. And I don't like to do my eyebrows on camera because, as y'all can see, I don't have a lot of brow hair. And I'm not that good at doing eyebrows, but a lot of you guys do want to see me do it, so here you go. And I'm going to try to make my brows as straight as possible, but, you know, it's kind of hard with, you know, no brows. So I just got to work with what I have. So I just create my outline, and then I fill it in with the gel part. And then after I fill it in with the gel part, I go in with the powder just to kind of soften it up a little bit and make it look a little bit more natural. Alright, so moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk palette, and I believe this is the second one. And I'm going to take this matte tan shadow, and I'm going to apply that into the crease. And you could just wing it back and forth like a windshield wiper until you are satisfied with the pigmentation. But I like to start off with the crease just so that I can blend out the edges so it won't be so harsh. And then after that, I just go in and just fill in the rest of the lid. Alright, so then the next shadow I'm using is this dark brown shadow, and I'm going to create a line. That way when I'm blending out this color or blending this color into my crease, I'm not going beyond this point. So I'm mainly focusing it on the outer corner of my eyes, and then whatever's left over, I'll slowly start to blend it in, just so that the transition is a lot more softer and smoother. And I'm also going to be taking this same color and dragging it along the bottom lash line. Then I'm taking this matte black shadow and I'm going to once again create a line just so that it's easier for guidance. And then I'm going to use a very light hand and blend this into the crease in the outer part of the eyes. And you want to use a light hand because you don't want to apply too much because too much is kind of hard to erase. So you just want to build up the color until you are satisfied. So to complete this eye look, I'm going to take this petal pink champagne color and I'm going to swipe it all over the lid. And this is just going to help bring in more lights and of course more glitter. But it's also going to blend all the shadows together so it just pops. Okay, so now that we are done with the shadow, I'm going to take a black eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to tight line my top and bottom lash line. And I'm also going to be creating a thin line on the top lid and creating a small line, I mean, not a small line, but a small wing at the end just to help enhance the black shadow. So while you guys are just watching me do my makeup, I'm going to just talk and tell you guys how jealous I am of all those people who are enjoying KCON in LA right now. I have so many friends who went and I'm here. <laughs> what a sad life. And I'm watching their Snapchat story and I'm like, yes, keep Snapchatting because I want to keep watching. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Anyways, here goes my little rant. But <laughs> after I finish with that, then I just take a smudger or a Q-tip if you don't have a smudger and just kind of blend out the eyeliner just so that it softens up and it's not too harsh. And I do that to the top and bottom lash line. And then I'm just curling my eyelashes and adding in my favorite mascara. And if you want to add some falsies, go ahead. I just didn't feel like it because I'm just that lazy. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so now we're going back to the face, and I'm actually going to set my face with this translucent powder, um, just because my face is a little bit shiny and oily, especially working under artificial lighting. So after that, I'm just going to take a bronzer, and I'm just going to obviously create my fake cheekbone, because, you know, this girl ain't got no cheekbone, the cheek's too thick. And then I'm just going to go around the temples of my forehead and also my jawline just to create a slimmer and smaller face. Then I'm going to take a lip liner and I'm just using a pink one. You can actually use any lip liner of your choice. This is just the only one that was handy at the moment. But you want to line your lips first and then just fill it in just so that it gives the red lip or like the red lipstick or red lip gloss a good base to sit on. And then I'm just taking this one from Sephora. It's called Red. And then um, I'm going to apply that all over the lips being very careful. And it actually dries matte so you don't got to worry about it being too glossy. But... For this look, we do want it to be glossy, so I'm applying a sheer pink gloss on top just to make it shiny. Ta-da! So we are done with the overall look. Just pull back your hair, add some big earrings, and girl, you are part of the Wonder Girls. Okay, sorry, I'm a little hyper on candy right now, but I hope you guys like this tutorial. And let me know what you guys think, and I should see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!